Belgian Golden Strong Ale is so refreshing and light that it easily masks its high alcohol content. Hi, I'm Emily, and this video is going to go over everything you need to know about Belgian Golden Strong Ale. First, a bit of history. It's the early 1900s, and we're in a small town in Belgium. Albert Morga and his brother Victor are running Morga Brewery, which they inherited from their father. The brewery is doing fairly well, but it's not quite on the map, so the brothers are looking to up their game, and they find that opportunity in the First World War. During World War I, Belgian soldiers fought next to English soldiers, and they began sharing culture, ideas, and yes, beer. Albert and Victor see the opportunity in Belgium's newly developed taste for English beer, so to commemorate the end of the war in 1918, they release Victory Ale, which is a dark beer inspired by English ales. But Albert isn't quite satisfied. He becomes determined to get his hands on a sample of yeast from English ale in order to perfect his brew. And this upsets a lot of people. The Belgian brewers are upset that he's defying all of their traditions, and the English brewers are upset that this Belgian guy is trying to steal their yeast. Shortly after the release of Victory Ale, Albert manages to go to the UK and obtain a yeast sample from McEwen's Scotch Ale. There is some dispute about how he managed to get the sample. A few sources say that Albert made friends with the people at McEwen's brewery and they just gave him the sample. Other sources say that the sample was already on its way to Belgium and Albert just purchased it. And then some other sources say that Albert just flat out stole it. But regardless of how the situation plays out, Albert brings the sample back to Belgium and hires a brewing scientist to analyze it. The scientist isolates the most promising yeast sample, and then Morga Brewery starts using that yeast sample to brew their Victory Ale to much success. Then, in 1923, a local shoemaker tastes the beer and exclaims, Dit is in echt duvel, eh? Which translates to, this is a real devil, eh? And the brothers love the idea and rename their beer Duvel. This is why so many breweries today choose to include references to the devil when naming their Belgian Golden Strong Ales. Our story isn't over just yet, because remember, Duvel at this point is still a dark ale. Let's fast forward a bit to the 70s. There's disco, there's bell-bottom pants, the Morga family still runs the brewery, but tastes have changed in Europe. Clean-tasting pale lagers are in, and dark ales are out of fashion. In order to keep Duval relevant, Morga decides that she needs a makeover that will leave her dripping in gold. So they experiment with the malting process, and after a lot of hard work, end up with a lightly colored malt that can still stand up to the high gravity of the beer. And once again, the newly transformed beer experiences a surge in popularity. After Duval's success, other Belgian brewers begin imitating the beer style, just like Albert had imitated the style of English beers. And now we have this entirely new style of beer known as Belgian Golden Strong Ale. Okay, I think that's enough talking, and now it's on to drinking. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't pee on me. I know I shouldn't have shaken you earlier, I'm sorry, but... Okay, it's cool. I think we're cool. We're cool. We're friends. That's frothy. The appearance of Belgian Golden Strong Ale should obviously be gold in color. It should also have extreme clarity and a long-lasting, persistent head. And along the side of the glass, you'll see it leaves that characteristic Belgian lace. The malt in this beer style can vary, but generally speaking, you want a light, almost grainy flavored malt. And the hops can also be present, but just at low to moderate levels, and you might experience some perfumey type hop notes. But the yeast is what really makes this beer stand out, so you can expect some fruity esters and some spicy phenols uh, from the yeast characteristic of the beer. 
and it should finish dry with a moderately bitter aftertaste. The mouthfeel is going to be highly carbonated and effervescent with a surprisingly light to medium body considering how high the alcohol content is. This is so light and refreshing, I wonder what the alcohol content is. Oh, that's right. The alcohol content ranges from 7.5 to 10.5 percent. Wow. Ideally, your Belgian Golden Strong Ale will be served in a tulip-shaped glass, which was designed for this specific beer. And that's that for the beer style today. Let me know your thoughts on Belgian Golden Strong Ale. I'm curious if any of you have ever had one that is not Duval, but a different brewery. So tell me in the comments, and uh, if you haven't already, throw a like and a subscribe this way, and I'll keep making these videos. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.